Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a professional looking minimal slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this slide. 1920 by 1080 60 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long. And hit OK. So here we have our composition. Let's create one more composition which is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag and drop in any image or video whatever that we want to use in our slideshow. So I'm going to call this media. Hit OK and I'm going to use an image that I have. I'll scale this down by hitting S on the keyboard and scaling it down just like that. So we have our image placed in into the position. Now let's drag in the media composition into the main slide comp that we have. And then I'm going to go into the rectangle tool that we have. Make sure the layer is not selected. If not, it's going to create a mask. So we don't need the mask, we need the shape layer. So I'm going to just double click on the rectangle tool. And there we have it. I'll just rename it to 01. You can rename it to anything that you want. Go into rectangle path 1 and unlink this. And change the width to around, let's go with 400. That looks good let's select it and align it to the right if you don't see this align tab you can go into windows and there you'll find it so so we have our first shape ready now let's change the track mat of the media composition to alpha mat now if you don't see this track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible now let's select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'm going to select the second layer or the second track mat and drag this just like so. Now to be a bit more precise, you can hit Control Shift H to hide the control layers, select it, zoom in and holding Shift, just drag it like so. Make sure you use the arrow keys to be a bit more precise. Then let's select this again, hit Control D to duplicate it, select the third one and holding Shift, I'm gonna drag the shape layer just like so and I'm going to use the arrow keys to be a bit more precise. So there we go. Now we have something like this. Let's hit control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid, which is going to be our BG. Hit OK. Put this at the back. Let's add a fill on this. And give it a nice dark bluish color. Maybe something like that looks more of a corporate look maybe a bit more darker yeah that looks much better and there we have our background let's hit Control shift h to see the control layers again select the bg hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and make sure the anchor point is set to the left so i'm going to select the move anchor point tool and i can just drag it or i can actually turn on the snapping and snap it right over here there we have it and then scale this down just like so maybe somewhere around there let's keep it 40 to be a bit more precise with numbers okay so that is looking pretty good now let's start animating the slide so firstly i'll select the track mat and the media com let's select actually the first or third layer that is on the top hit p to bring down the position properties i'll go to around two seconds create a keyframe, go back, hit V and let's drag it out just like so. Then select these two layers, go back right over here. Actually, I can select all the four layers, hit P, create a position, go back, then select just the second one and then drag it out just right over here. All right, select the first one that is the bottom layer and then drag it out just like so and now we should have something like this which looks pretty cool let's select all the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease those 
keyframes, go into the graph editor, select this point and drag it to the left using the handle. So now we have a much more interesting animation as you can see. So this is looking really nice as you can see. Okay, there we go. Now what I can do is go to two seconds, select the background layer, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go back in time and set this to zero. Select the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease or you can hit F9 on the keyboard, select it and let's actually keep it like so and there we go. We have our animation. Now let's go ahead and add some text to this. So I'll select the text tool and actually let's create a new composition for our text. So for the width, I'll go with maybe, um, let's go with 600 pixels and for the height, I'll go with 100 pixels. Call this title, hit OK. I'll type in dope motions. You can of course type in whatever text that you want to keep. Let's make some room right over here. Increase the size. Also, I'm going to align it into the center just like so. Let's bring them a bit closer. Okay, I'm going to add a gradient ramp on this. So I'm going to type in ramp. By the way, I'm using the FX console. If you're new to After Effects, you can just go into effects and preset and type in gradient ramp or just ramp and double click to open that up. Or you can just simply drag and drop it onto the text. There we go. I'll move this right over here. Move this one just like so. Now let's give it a much more interesting color. So something like this looks really cool. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and add some interesting animation to our text. So I'll go into the properties of the text and add a position animation move down the position right over here maybe around 100 pixels go into a range selector go into advance make some room right over here and then I'll play around with some settings so I'll change the shape from square to ramp up and now I can animate the text all right so I'll animate the offset basically let's go to one second create a keyframe on the offset Go back and set this to minus 100 and then change the easy load to all the way up to 100 and turn on the randomized order. So now we have this really interesting text animation. It looks really cool. Maybe I'll make it one second and 30 frames. I'll move the keyframe just like that. And now here we have our animation. Very nice. Let's duplicate this comp. So hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's rename this to tagline. Double click to open that up. Hit Control K to open the comp settings and change the height to 50% maybe. Oh, 50 pixels, not 50%. Yep, there we go. I'll change the text to presents. And we don't need any gradient ramp on this. So I'm going to delete that. And let's go right here and change the, actually we don't need to go right there. We can just simply change the position from 100 to minus 100. So now we have something like this. Let's place them into the positions. So I'll go into the main slide comp, drag in the tagline and the title composition select the title comp and I'll place it somewhere around here select the presence comp hit s to bring down the scale property scale this down to around 60 maybe that looks good let's see the animation actually I'm going to move this text animation one second forward in time something like that maybe a bit down using the arrow keys and one more thing that I like to do is I can select this increase the spacing between the alphabets so something like this. so there we go this is looking really really nice and finally we can add some nice description so i can go on the internet and type in some 
L'Oreal in person. Ipsum L'Oreal. Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> and then select the text tool. Drag it by creating a square. So our text remain inside the bounding boxes and play around with the size that you want. Maybe I'll keep it this big. And make them just like that smaller. I'll go with the Gotham book for the description. I think it's a bit too big, so I'll just decrease the bounding boxes. And there we go. So that is looking much better. Let's add some simple animation to our description. So I'll go into the text properties, add a opacity, bring that down to zero, go into range selector. I'll go to around two seconds and 30 frames. Create a keyframe on the end property. Actually, let's leave it at 100. I'll play around with the offset basically. So I'll go into advance, set this to ramp up and play around with the offset. So I'll set this to 100, create a keyframe, go back to one second and 30 frames, set this to minus 100. And now we have a nice animation for our text. Also, one more thing that I would like to do is add some zooming animation onto our image. So I'll create a keyframe on the scale property, go all the way up to 10 seconds and increase this a bit. So that our image doesn't stay still, it has a little bit of motion into it. Also, I'll drag in the media composition below our BG and change the track mat of this to Luma mat. So we get this really nice light BG into our background. Now you can go ahead and add some small elements if you want to. And this slideshow is mainly inspired from one of the motion cans. Slideshow motion can is a video hive author. I'll mention the link in the description if you want to check it out or purchase his slideshow. So a huge shout out to him. And yeah, that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul. But those real ones, they coming now. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends want to feature now. They don't work, so they need it free. Ooh, you reaching out from the west side of that old town. But it's